Joining us, Emma Elizabeth Vowell, Greg is out tonight. We start with something that could be good news for the families in the Comete flood zone. 40 years after the project was first started, officials tell us there's now enough funding to finally complete the Comete River Diversion Project. But you know, we've heard this song and dance all before, so what's different this time? Josh Bowering joins us to explain. Josh. Yeah, that's right. I spoke to Congressman Garrett Graves today. He tells me he's hopeful this will all be wrapped up within the next two and a half years. You know, we're not saying if it happens again, we're saying when. Noel Hunt's house, well over 100 years old, has only flooded once during the 2016 flood. We all have PTSD. You know, after what, after that flood, when we start getting five, four, five, six inches of rain, everybody starts panicking. The 2016 flood took everything from him, and he's afraid it'll happen again if the Comey River Diversion Canal Project hits another roadblock. If the canal had been built, which was conceived in the 1980s, if it had been built uh, long before now, then it would have kept the water out of my house. For years, Hunt and thousands of other flood victims have been met with excuses when asking about the project delays, and they were crushed to hear a few months back Funding for the project would likely dry up before the end of the year. But today, Congressman Garrett Graves says they've been able to figure out ways to secure the added funding, and they're now full speed ahead. The thing that I tell people that they should be excited about is they've never seen anything like this. This is what progress looks like. And the cost of the project had skyrocketed from earlier estimates to more than $900 million. We're going to go and we're working with the Corps of Engineers and hope by the end of next week we have a funding strategy in place that will include tapping those reserve funds as well is potentially looking at other sources. So Congressman Graves says the project is now 60% done. He's hopeful that'll be at 100% by the end of 2025. Gosh, thank you. We